Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you're rocking a Samsung Galaxy phone, especially the latest Galaxy S25 Ultra, you might not be using your device to its full potential. So today I'm showing you seven amazing hidden features that will make your phone feel more powerful, fun, and super personalized. And don't worry, while I'm demonstrating this on the S25 Ultra, these tips work on many other Samsung Galaxy devices too. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can get animated charging screen on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So Samsung lets you apply animated charging effects when you plug in your phone. So instead of a static battery icon, you can basically have these dynamic visuals like this. So you can have like a glowing wave, maybe moving particles or futuristic animation. So let me show you how to do this. So here first you need to go ahead and find a video. So here I found a charging video. So here you need to go ahead and open up the modes and routine app. Next, you're gonna go and tap on routines and then tap on the plus sign. And now we'll go ahead and create an if and then statement. So here we'll go ahead and search for charge status or charging status. So here we're gonna go ahead and select wired and wireless. So next we'll go ahead and tap on done. Now, if wireless status is charging, then we wanna go ahead and change the background. So we're gonna to go to change the background to the one that we have. So change the lock screen wallpaper. From here, we'll go ahead and choose the video from our gallery. Since it's too long, we'll go ahead and trim this. Now we'll go ahead and tap on done. And then we'll go ahead and tap on save. We'll go ahead and give it a name, press done. And now the routine has been applied. Now when we go ahead and charge our phone, And as you can see, you'll see that charging wallpaper, which has been applied when we're charging our phone. So you can do this with wired and also wirelessly. So this not only makes charging feel stylish, but also gives you an at a glance confirmation that your phone is charging properly without needing to check your battery percentage. So when I remove it, it basically goes back to your normal wallpaper. When I go ahead and charge your phone, it then returns back to the charging screen. The second feature is where you can turn on your keyboard shortcut menu. So inside the Samsung keyboard settings, you can basically turn on a shortcut bar that gives you quick access to home, recent, volume up, volume down, show notifications, screenshots, screen off, and menu keys. So this basically saves time and makes your multitasking smoother. So instead of digging through menus, you can basically just go ahead and swipe right and you can get all these buttons here. So let me show you how you can get this keyboard shortcut on your screen for your Samsung S25 Ultra. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the One-Handed Operation Plus. One-Hand Operation Plus. Here, we'll turn on this feature on, and we'll go ahead and use this left handle. We'll go ahead and assign it to straight right. And you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find keyboard shortcuts. So this is the feature which brings up shortcuts for certain apps. So this works on your home screen. It even works for like internet, Chrome, YouTube, even TikTok. If you wanna make this work in different apps, you can go ahead and tap on add and add different apps. Now, once that's done, select that, press okay. And then that shortcut has been, and then that feature has been set. Now press home. Now when you go ahead and swipe from the left, you'll get this keyboard shortcut. So here you can go ahead and use all these different keys volume up, volume down, show notification, screen off, menu key, show notification, you can take a screenshot. If you open up YouTube, you can go ahead and control YouTube videos. So you can play, pause, volume up, volume down, move back, move forward, toggle the mute. So basically this saves time, it makes multitasking smoother. So instead of digging through menus, everything you need for messaging, productivity, video, and fun is just a tap away. The third feature is where you can add the quick contacts to your edge panel. So the edge panel isn't just for apps. You can basically pin your favorite contact there as well. So with just a swipe from the side of the screen, you can basically access your quick contacts and you can instantly call or text people you contact the most. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up our settings. Next, we'll go ahead and scroll down and find display. Then you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Edge panel, switch this on, tap on this. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down, find panels. And here you wanna go ahead and turn on the people panel. 
which is right here. Tap on this, turn it on, tap on edit. And now you can go ahead and choose what people you want to add to this edge panel. So here I can go ahead and all add all these different people. I can go ahead and reorder them so that they appear in a different order. And once I'm happy, I can go ahead and tap on back and then tap on home. Now when you go ahead and bring the edge panel out, I can go ahead and view this edge panel with my contacts here. So no more scrolling through your contact list. It's a huge time saver. It makes your phone feel even more intuitive. By the way, if you're enjoying these Samsung tips, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and drop a comment below. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss out on more Samsung Galaxy hacks like these. So let's continue. Feature number four is where you have your horizontal flip lock screen effect. So Samsung allows you to set a lock screen transition effect where when you wake it up, the screen basically flips horizontal like turning a page. So here, let me show you this new horizontal flip effect, which they have just recently added to the Wonderland module. So to get this, you wanna first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna make sure your Wonderland module has been updated to the latest version. So make sure your Wonderland module is at least 1.6.15. Now, once it's updated, go ahead and open it. Now we'll go ahead and create your different lock screen effect. We'll go ahead and create a new one. So we'll go ahead and do a search. So let's go ahead and create a new one. And then we'll go ahead and choose the AOD as well. Now press close. Now we'll go ahead and choose the effect type. So we wanna go ahead and choose the flip. So this is the new version. So the old version only had the vertical. Now they've added the new version, which is horizontal. So now when you go ahead and view it, it now closes in horizontal version. So now once you're happy, tap save, save it again. And I go ahead and set this as your wallpaper for your lock screen. Now press home, go ahead and lock it, and then go ahead and view it. So this adds flair and personalization, making every unlock feel unique instead of boring. Plus it's a subtle way to show off your phone style. Feature number five is where you can set wallpaper from Instagram with AI select. So from within Instagram, you can now long press on an image, use AI select to extract the subject and instantly set it as your wallpaper without downloading any extra apps. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Instagram. In Instagram, I've just searched for 4K background and we'll go ahead and browse through these backgrounds, which we want. So as an example, I want this wallpaper on my phone home screen. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on the three dots. I'll tap on view in full screen, and then I'll go ahead and bring out the edge panel. We'll go ahead and bring the apps, tap AI select. And as it reads down there, AI select has been blocked. So in order to bypass this, go ahead and use your finger, stop the video. Now bring out AI select. Now AI select will select the screen, then tap on the three dots and then tap on set as wallpaper. Now tap next, tap on done, and then tap skip. And now when you press home, AI select has created a wallpaper from Instagram. So this makes it effortless to personalize your phone with photos, artwork, or aesthetic images you find online, keeping your phone looking fresh and uniquely yours on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number six is where you can change your volume panel color. So Samsung customization tool allows you to recolor your volume slider to match your wallpaper or theme. So instead of the default gray or white, you can add gradients, vibrant tones, or subtle shades. So let me show you how to do this on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Sound Assistant module. Now here you wanna go ahead and find now here you wanna go ahead and find make your own volume panel colors. Tap on this, switch this feature on, and then you wanna go ahead and choose all your different effects. So you have this effect, you have some textures which you can choose, you can choose the control type, you can even choose the shapes. If you don't like any of them, you can go ahead and choose themes, and you can choose the different themes which are available. So you can choose the themes according to your wallpaper, or your theme which you have currently set on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, once you're happy, press home, and then go ahead and view your volume control. 
So this makes even the smallest UI element match your vibe. It basically gives your Galaxy device a consistent and a polished look. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can assign the side key button to open an app. So instead of just waking up Bixby or powering off your phone, so the side key can be customized to launch your favorite app like camera, notes, or Spotify, or even TikTok. So currently when you press the side button, this basically opens up your power menu. If you tap on side button settings and you press on long press, so these are the only three things you can do with the side button. So when you long press it, your digital assistant can open up, you can open up Bixby, or you can open up the power off menu. So let me show you how you can assign the side key button to open an app or do something else. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Registar. Now you're gonna go ahead and find side key, press and hold action. Tap on this, turn this feature on, and here you can go ahead and choose from all of these available actions for your side key. So you can take and share screenshot, access your voice assistant, turn on or on off, turn on and off flashlight, auto rotate, live captions, mute and unmute all volumes, show notification, show recent apps, back button, or you can go ahead and open an app. So here we'll go ahead and open an app so let's just say, for example, we're going to go ahead and open up Spotify. So we'll go ahead and tap on open app. Now we press home. Now when you go ahead and long press on your side button, this will open up Spotify. So it's like having a shortcut button built into your phone. So it's perfect for quick access to apps you use the most, especially in fast situations like snapping a picture or maybe listening to music. And there you have it seven Samsung Galaxy features that can transform the way you use your phone daily. So whether it's customizing animation, speeding up your workflow, or just making your device look more cooler. So these tips make Samsung Galaxy experience even more powerful. So if you found this helpful, please make sure to hit the like button, share this with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss my next batch of hidden Galaxy tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.